Hey guys, we're back with another video on the Jaguar Twenty Three, and we're on our way to Apple Green, just packing up this stuff. Welcome to part two. My dad is gonna lift up the boots, put the stuff inside. Whoa, that was sick, bro. Now we can finally get out. Cool out there. <sighs> Just waiting. Waiting. Yes. Is he done now? Oh, please. Yes, that's Charlie to put back. Oh, we're just gonna have to wait. Blah. While we're waiting, let's do something fun. Like, hmm, maybe open the door again for a bit of fresh air. Oh no, this camera nearly fell. Looking out. What should we do? Maybe we should do going outside. Whoa. This is epic. Cars. Nervously. Cool. Waiting for my dad to come back. Should it take this long? Okay. Now he is coming back. I can see him. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Wait, where? Where did he go? Hmm. Time for the fun part. La 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 la. Oh, yeah! Uh, or even if you're in the city and you see when transport lets you down, you're completely goosed and people have a right to get around the place and everybody's been forced out to the periphery. There's satellite towns all over the place that if there was no... If you took away all the private cars, how would they get to, how would it's they get the 40 cool. kilometers in? I'd expect them to take a bike or walk. Yeah, how would they get to do the shopping? Because they, exactly, you know, but it is, that's why it's seen as a discretion spend. It's seen still as a luxury item. There is reality, it's a necessity. But we got an exemption. Charlie McCready got an exemption from Europe saying we have to have this because we can't get the money from anywhere else. There you go. Highly recommend cargiant.co.uk. Okay, that's for today. Stay tuned for part three.